a serious disciple of Jesus does not continue to associate with Christians who are in sin. This is what is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. It says, But I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral, or covetous, or an idolater, or a partier, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, not even to eat with such a person. You know, Paul wrote this to the church. But many people in churches today, they say, Jesus, he would associate with sinners, tax collectors, prostitutes, and they think somehow that that gives them a license to sin. They also think it gives them a license to hang out with sinners. But did you know when Jesus told the Pharisees that he came for the sinners, not for the righteous. He meant that he was coming for those who knew that they needed to repent. See, the Pharisees thought that they did not need to repent. They thought they were already righteous, so they wanted nothing to do with Jesus. It is the same way with those who are in church today. In the Babylon church, they want nothing to do with repentance because they believe they're already safe and secure on their way to heaven, And the pastors are teaching this. But if you truly are serious, and you truly want to get to know Jesus, you will have nothing to do with Christians who are in sin. And most Christians, even pastors, will tell you that they willfully sin. But if you're serious with Jesus, you will repent. You will make sure that you are righteous and holy in the eyes of Jesus. If you want to know, simply go before Jesus and pray until Jesus reveals to you the truth of your heart. Continue to seek Jesus and don't let go of Him. May the grace of Jesus be with you.